There. Are you still caught up in the agony of trying to get things done or even just trying to get to that place of your higher version that we talk about so often? Well, when we come back, we're going to hit some points on that to get you going and off of that stuck place. Okay? Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Emil Sobin, the Mojo Maker, back with another hot mojo tip. This time, let's talk about that loop. My clients talk to me about the fact that, you know, they're, they're going around in circles. They don't know what to do next. They feel stuck. They're over in overwhelm. What can be done about this? And I thought to myself, well, let me go back in my memory to the times where I was in the exact same spot and at times land in that same place, depending on what's going on in my life. You know, a lot of that looping is the fact that we have too many things to look at. That's right. We've got snow, that shiny new object syndrome looking to see how many new horses we can onboard, how many books we can read, how many workshops we can attend, how many voices we can pile into our brain because we are on that march towards our, the better version of ourselves and our six or seven figure income. All you're really doing at that point is making yourself frustrated and freaking out and sliding deeper and deeper into overwhelm. It's time to stop the madness. Remember Susan Powder, the fitness guru back in, I think it was the early 90s? And she said, stop the madness. And I'm going to say the same thing, stop the madness. This is the time to focus in clearly to a few key things, especially when you're just starting out as an entrepreneur. You can't take on everything. Yes, the temptation to do that because you see this person doing that, this one making claims. Maybe your peers have all of these new pieces of equipment and and software pieces, and it, it's just crazy. You know, even the best person on the planet, the best business person on the planet, can't possibly focus on everything. And why would you be any different to even try it? All you're doing is throwing away time and valuable resources. So, stop it. Sit down, and I would say with a mentor, sit down with a really good mentor that can help you see where you are and what you need to be looking at at the place in which you find yourself. You can't be working at high level in high level situations um, when you are in the middle or even near the, the beginning. You need beginning resources, you need middle resources, you need high end resources depending on where you are. Because all you're going to do is get yourself into overwhelm. So now is the time to clearly look at, define, articulate, and practice what you specifically need as an individual in your business or just in your brand messaging. Okay? So take a breath, stand still for a moment, and understand that how you got yourself to this place of looping and overwhelm, you can get yourself out. You're not stuck forever. But you do need to find somebody that can help you come out, whether it's a business coach or even an accountability coach like myself that can sit you down and get you on the right track. I'm helping my clients get to their authentic selves and to the better version of themselves and to create their personal cultures and messaging and perhaps onboard some PR services along that to get them out there beautifully and powerfully. Okay, so don't confuse yourself, people. I understand the temptation. You want to look like you got it going on. You want to look as if you know what you're doing and talking about, but you have to stop and look at what you actually need to be doing. Maybe it might just be getting healthy. Maybe that's the first thing you need to do. All right, because without health, there ain't no wealth, as they say. So maybe the second thing you need to do is to organize what you already have. You might be, you might have a lot more than you think, but because you're just piling things on, you can't see it because you have too much to look at. And maybe simplicity and creating some Zen habits for yourself is what needs to happen next. All right. Maybe you need to get yourself on a really organized schedule with your reading, with your meditation, with your food, with how you structure the big boulders and the small pebbles in your life. Because a lot of people are busy, busy, busy and getting nothing done. Maybe that's you. All right. Or maybe it's just a matter of understanding what your business is about and who that market is. Who are you actually targeting? 
Because if you're targeting the wrong person, it doesn't matter how many arrows you throw out there, it's always going to be a mess. So these are some things that you have to sit down and suss out with somebody, an accountability a mentor or coach, maybe a life coach, a business coach, or a little bit of all three. They all function differently, focusing you in on something different. I work with people that need that clarity around their personal cultures, some PR, and real kick-ass accountability. Daily hits, not huge amounts of time talking, little hits to make sure you're in the right place at the right time, doing the right things, having fun, you're glowing, and having monstrous peacock moments. I'll explain the peacock moments another time, okay? So, settle down. It's not the end of the world, but you do need to get some thinking done and to get into some deep practice around some of these fine, specific points. Not everything. We need to get rid of that snow, that um, syndrome around shining new objects, okay? So, this is Pamela Sullivan, the Mojo Maker, sitting in her office today, bringing you another hot Mojo tip. Subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'm showing up every day bringing you the best of what I got, or follow me on my blog at PamelaSullivan.com. Have a beautiful, precise, well-focused, stress-free, sorry, stress-free day. Bye-bye, everybody.